Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building another road vehicle here, and we're going to be building this U-Haul truck. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off with the front wheels. And we're going to take a block of coal and place it down where you want your front wheel to be. On the inside of it, put a polish and a slide slab on the upper hitbox and another block of coal then three polish andesite slabs on the front. Across here we're going to put three jungle signs and then one on the side here and one on the side here. Then behind this on the upper hitbox two rows of three polish andesite slabs. Then behind that we're going to go to smooth stone slabs and we're going to go five wide here like this. Then we need to grab a quartz slab here We're going to come off this outer edge right here and we're going to do a line of nine slabs coming back. Then a block of coal and two more cord slabs. Then copy it on this side so nine slabs, a block of coal, and two more cord slabs. Then we'll come in here and we'll fill this whole middle three wide with smooth stone slabs to the back of this. five smooth stone slabs across the back and then we're going to grab an iron trap door and we're going to put five iron trap doors across this very back then we'll go through on all four wheels and we'll put an item frame on the side of all the wheels then we'll go back through and put an iron block inside of all four of these iron item frames just like this now come up here, in between these front wheels put a cobble deep slate. Then in front of it on the middle put a sideways dark oak vent skate. And then behind it in the middle a dark oak vent skate. Behind this in the center place a black stone brick stair here for a seat. Then we're going to take a quartz stair and we're going to put an upside down forward facing stair above each of these front wheels. And then in these front corners an outward facing quartz stair on either side. Then take smooth red sandstone, one here, one here, and behind that a smooth quartz block here and here. Then across this, three cyan stained glass and a cyan stained glass pane on either side of the back like this. Then we're going to put a lever here and a dark oak fence, then a lever here and a dark oak fence. Then we're going to switch over and take out smooth stone slabs again. And we're going to come on this outer corner behind the cab here and stack your slabs up two blocks tall right here and then two blocks tall on this side. Fill this middle with two layers of smooth quartz right here. Now we'll come up on top of the front right here. And we're going to put three white carpet across the very front of this. And then behind it three iron trap doors. Then we're going to come on this bottom outside edge and we'll do a line of nine smooth quartz blocks here, skip the wheel, and two smooth quartz. Same thing, so two here, skip the wheel, and nine here. Then we'll put a smooth stone slab here and here, then on the upper hitbox, one above this wheel, and one above this wheel. Then we'll go back to smooth quartz, and we're gonna do a layer of smooth quartz across here to the back of this right here. And then same thing, on this side. Now we'll start on top of the back and do a single smooth red sandstone on each side, then a lime glazed terracotta, then yellow glazed terracotta, then red glazed terracotta. Then we'll do a smooth red sandstone up to the front right here. And then same thing, start right here and a full row of smooth red sandstone right here. Then take out smooth quartz block and put three across this front middle. Then we'll come on top of the back, do a single smooth quartz on either side. Then a yellow glazed terracotta and two lime glazed terracotta. And copy that pattern on this side. 
Then we'll do smooth quartz up to the front here, come across the front, and back down this side. Then we're going to come up here, because there's a little part that overhangs the gap up here. And we're going to take smooth stone slabs. And we're going to come up on the upper hip box of this next block above the cab right here, and go five wide with it. And then a smooth quartz slab down in here for the cab roof. And then another row of five smooth stone slabs on the front of this. Then two slabs in this corner, two here, a smooth quartz block here and here. On the front of this, a smooth quartz on either side and a block of coal in the middle. Then an acacia sign here and here. Then an acacia sign on this side up here. And one on this side right here. And actually we're going to change this block to two smooth stone slabs like that. And do the same thing here, change this one to two smooth stone slabs so they all connect. Then we'll go five smooth stone slabs across the front here, and then all the way down the side to the back. Same thing over here, come all the way down this side to the back. Then on the very back here, on the outer edge, stack smooth stone slabs up to the top of each side. And then three across this top. Then we'll come through with quartz slabs, and we're gonna fill the whole top middle three of this with quartz slabs so the roof is filled in. Just like that. Next, take out a birch sign. Start right here on the bottom, and we're gonna do a row of nine birch signs coming across this. Then behind the wheel, we'll put two right here. Then we'll repeat the process on the other side. So come over here, put two right here. Then in front of the wheel, a full row of nine across here. Then we're gonna come on the back end, on either side of the bottom, we're gonna put a glow item frame with redstone blocks in them. Above each one, a mangrove button, and on top of each side, an acacia button. Then come here, put an acacia button on bottom and top, then one on bottom here, and one up here on the top. Copy it on this side, so an acacia button down here and up here, and back here, one on the bottom and the top. Then take a birch button, Right here, we're gonna do four birch buttons. Then come to this side and do four here. Then go to a polished blackstone button, put three down here, two on the back here. Then do this side, so two right here, and three down here. Then up here, we'll do two polished blackstone buttons, then two on the top of this side, and one up in this corner here on the back, and then same thing on this side. Then we're gonna come up front. On either side of the front, we're gonna put a glow item frame with frog lights in them for the headlights. Next, crouch and put a dark oak sign on the center here in front of this fence gate. Then we're gonna come around the corner and we need to grab a jungle sign. We're gonna put one sign on the side of this stair and on it, we're gonna do two rows of hashtags on the top two lines. Then we're gonna hit that with orange dye and a glowing sack. Then we'll do it on this side as well, so a jungle sign here. And on top, put two rows of hashtags. And then hit it with orange dye and a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna come down on the back corner and on bottom of the back here, we're gonna put two jungle signs here. And then same thing on this side, put two signs here. And now we'll come in here and actually I have some slabs that were mistakes. So I had to take this out and this out. If you want your truck to be open, we're just gonna put three diorite walls on top like that so it looks like the door's open. If you want it closed, we'll add two more rows of three down here. Then on the right, two prismarine walls and a diorite wall here. Then on the bottom middle, we're gonna open a birch fence gate and we're gonna put a warp sign on either side of the fence gate here. And 
that spur if you want the truck closed. Then take out an item frame, and up here behind these buttons, put five item frames. Do the same thing on this side, so five item frames right here. Then we need to make some banners, so we're going to come into a loom with a white banner and black dye. We're going to put a vertical on the left and the right, and a horizontal on bottom. New banner. Vertical on the left and the right, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle, vertical on the right, vertical on the left. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. Then go to white dye and put a white border around all four of these. Then we'll just come up on the side where we have those item frames and use the banners to spell out U-Haul. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Come over here and use the banners on this side to spell out U-Haul. Just like that. And then we have one more detail to do, which is the door handle. So we need to come in and we're gonna grab a stone button here. And we'll come on the side of the door right here, put a stone button here, and then put one on this side here. Then we're gonna come up right here and put a stone button here. And then on this side, we're gonna put a stone button here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Minecraft U-Haul truck. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there.